day, we checked city records and found there have been countless complaints made about the Hunts Point apartment building. But there were, but were there any red flags that could have warned people about the apparent danger? CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez has more information on this. The heartbreaking deaths of two baby girls inside this Bronx apartment building has homeless housing experts questioning if the tragedy could have been prevented. Robert Miscali is a former deputy commissioner for the city's Department of Homeless Services. In 20 years of being involved in homeless issues, I never heard of anything more horrific than this. This is horrible. The building at 720 Hunts Point Avenue in the Bronx is considered a homeless cluster shelter, a privately owned building that contracts with the city to house homeless in some of the units. In this case, five of the 48 units housed homeless families. The Department of Homeless Services Commissioner saying tonight, we are devastated by this tragedy. We are investigating and taking steps to immediately transfer the four other families being sheltered at this location to another shelter. Since the early 90s, the city has received dozens of complaints about the Hunts Point apartment building, mostly about faulty elevators. The city Department of Buildings inspected it at least twice this year and last month issued a violation for what was characterized as a defective future gas connection. Miscali says the Department of Homeless Services regularly inspects all cluster shelters. In September, it found more than 14,000 violations, more than 1,000 considered high priority. Miscali says the potentially fatal flaws that may have caused the deadly radiator explosion are much more difficult to detect in cluster sites compared to fully functioning homeless shelters. In a shelter, it's run by a nonprofit. They're constantly up in those rooms checking to see what kind of condition they are as far as cleanliness and you know structural problems. So the cluster sites, they're really they're out of control of the city. Because they're privately owned. Because they're privately owned and they're isolated. We were unable to reach the Bushwick Economic Development Corporation, which runs that Hunts Point cluster shelter. Today's tragedy comes as the city's homeless population reaches an all time high of more than 60,000 people. Nearly 24,000 of them are children. On the Upper East Side, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. And we'll continue to follow updates on this tragic story. We'll bring you an update at 6 o'clock.